the next topic which i'm going to start it here the azure sql database because so far we just talk about storing the files storing the unstructured data but when it is coming to how to store the structured data so structured data we can store in using the azure sql database option so it is similar to the rdbms concept as we have in the local machine let's say sql server even it is a sql server in the cloud so it is a relational database and fully managed by the microsoft so you can think about the azure sql database microsoft is offering to you as database as a service it offer the enterprise grade features like high availability data protection backup high performance and scaling these are very important in the context of the enterprise application development even it offers the near zero administration it means you don't need to worry about for taking the regular backup for restoring the database everything is taken care by the microsoft team for you so let's see how we can create a single database in the cloud and start using it so just make a search for azure sql and for azure sql you will find out the option here single database elastic pool and database server then we have been here sql manage instance this is the one option you will get and this is the sql server on a virtual machine now here you can select the virtual machine size and start using it as per your requirement okay so one of the option you can use here so i can create a single database directly and when i'm creating a single database it will ask me to create the database server as well or you can create first database server later on we can create the single database so let me create the database server so decide here your resource group let's say it is here my dndrg is my resource group and then server name is let's say here dnp sql server so this is the server name i have given now define the login detail username and password sysadmin password dnt and the rate 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is the way i just define the username and password and do you want to allow its access from the azure services like virtual machine your web app yes allow uh, then we having the additional setting window defender as your defender so i'm not enabling it let's leave it tagging convention over there so you can define the tag value let's say environment and anything i'm just leaving it as it is let's create so now let me create a single database so either i can search from here either there is option as your sql so as your sql then we having the option to create single database this is my resource group so as a resource group let's say i'm using here my dntrg do we have server over there we are we having a server my dnt my server define your database name which you are going to create let's say database name is here my db the define here do you want to use the sql elastic pool yes or no so i'm i'm mentioning here let's say no then we having the option here for compute and storage so this is the actually setting we having to configure the database so whether you can go ahead with let me first start with the dtu model So actually, when it is coming to deciding uh, the, the provision model, so we having two option here, DTU and V core. So when it is coming to the DTU, so DTU offer a blend of compute, memory, and input output resources. So they actually not providing you the dedicated virtual machine. They providing you a blend of compute, memory, and input output process. and here in case of dtu model we need to pay a fixed amount every month for the pre configured compute resources and in the dtu model these are the option available basic where you can have support for 5 dtu size of database can be 2 gb maximum and standard we having the dtu range from 10 to 3000 and database size can be 1 tb in premium we having the dtu starting from 125 to 4000 and dtu size can be 4 tb and this is the affordable model for creating the database apart from that one you can go ahead with the v core model as well in the v core model you will have the dedicated resources you will have a virtual machine behind the scene it is actually a useful whenever you need the dedicated resources where you are doing a lot of transaction so these option are available 
our general purpose business critical and premium and hyper scale and here in the v core you will find out two compute ts provision and serverless and the provision it's a pre allocated resources or you can say the fixed size fixed amount you are paying every month but in serverless they calculate the things based upon the uses of second it is equally helpful whenever you are having the unpredictable uses of your database it means let's say you are having a school database so obviously for the school database in the day time the children are accessing their assignment the children are accessing their classes but i'm sure in the night starting from 12 am to let's say 4 am there would not be the traffic on the website so for the 4 hours your website is in ideal mode so here if you will select the serverless one so here they are calculating on per second basis so for the 4 hours ideal time amount you don't need to pay if you are using the serverless okay this is the benefit you will find out but for each website it will not applicable if your website user available to you always 24 into 7 if it takes the example of dotnetics.com so we have been the user from across the world so we cannot make our website sleep in the night so if you will look at here this is the option here for dtu where i am having the 5 dtu i am having the standard and this is a maximum dtu can be there 3000 this is the premium their maximum dtu can be 4000 so as per the uses as per requirement you can select one of the dtu option and as per the dtu you have selected you have to pay it here this is the pricing as per this 125 dtu for a standard this is the pricing 1080 rupees it's affordable and usable this is the way so you can decide which one you are willing to use simple so this is the dtu one if you are looking for v core we have been the v core option we are we have been the provision so in in the provision they are allocating they are allocating to you the two core virtual machine four core virtual machine it's up to you how many cores you needed and this is the maximum database size you can have and based upon the sizes based upon the core the pricing is changing over here then we have been the serverless in serverless they will not calculate the price they will calculate based upon the uses the per second uses so this is the way you can decide how many cores you need one core two core and here you can do, you can provide the minimum core for using the things it's up to you then there is option here auto pause delay so here the auto pause till you can mention like like after 1 hour it will be auto pause automatically if there is no activity this database maximum size you can have so this is a serverless so for the initial use i'm just going to use the dtu1 so yes use is standard one and this s1 i'm using here click on the apply so this is the way how you can decide here your database configuration and based upon the database configuration you have to pay go to the networking option here you can define the firewall rule so this access actually we have already given in in the previous step then we have been the others settings do you want to create a new database or do you have a backup file so backup file you can upload to the storage account from the storage account that backup file can be read and you can create the database or you can create a sample database also so adventure works lt is a sample database offered by the microsoft for testing purpose and for learning purpose you can use it so here i'm just going to start with none a empty database it will create then we having the next option tagging i'm leaving it now let's create it so this is the way how the database has been created and this is the pricing tier i'm having here now i can connect to this database so there is option connection string just go to the database connection string and let's copy it here and now let me store so now using this server detail i can access it from my local machine so i'm just using here sql server management studio define your server detail then sql server authentication along with username and password so this is my username sys admin password dnt at the rate one two three four five six seven eight is my password and guys by default no one can access my sql database by knowing the connection string because it is protected you need to add a 
IP rule also. So when you have created the database, that time it can be added or it can be added later on. Let me try to connect. You can see it is asking me to log in so that I can add a firewall rule where I can provide the permission of my machine IP to access that database in the cloud. So either from here it can be added or either there is a option just go to the overview section we having the set server firewall let's open it and here you having the option for adding the server firewall this is my current ip this is the ip of my machine it's not actually for my machine it's for my isp internet service provider or you can say the router ip this is my router ip through which i can i'm connecting so rule name you can define here it's a local this start ip this is an ip this way now save it so what i have done i added the ip through the portal itself now if you will try to connect from my local machine again it will allow to me because i make my ips whitelist into the firewall label so now it will not ask me to log in it has been connected properly so this is my database let's say my db is my database this is empty actually it is it is showing my some other database because i have used the existing one so this is my existing server i have used so this is the other data other database i have created in another session that is showing but today we have created this database so you can find out it is empty we don't have any table over here now you can access it sim in the similar way as we access our database in a local machine even i can connect to this database using my application also because I just need the connection string and I just need the accessibility to this database. So you have to just mention this connection string, your user ID and password. So in my case, password is DNT at the rate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the setting which is going to apply it here simply. And from here, you can configure it. Let's say if you're willing to scale up, scale down from the configure option, it can be done. Because let's say later on you have decided to scale up. So here I can scale up. I'm increasing the capacity. Even I can switch from a DTU to V core model as well. Let's say if you are, if you are switching from a DTU to V core model, that switching is also possible. Just select it, this compute here and apply. It will switch my database from DTU to V core model. It's simple, just click on the apply button. This we have been the option for geo replication. As I said, by default data is going to be stored at one location. But let's say if you are making it protected. So in that case, we create another replica. So here I can add the replica location. So define your database name, then your second database type would be only readable. It cannot be the writable copy. Because in RDBMS, we don't have any way to write to the multiple copy. At the same time, the secondary copy would be always here in readable mode. So whenever data you are writing, the data will write to the primary copy. And from the primary key copy behind the scene in asynchronous fashion, it will replicate it to the secondary copy. So here I can define my target server and things and just click on OK. This is the way how the secondary copy you can configure. I'm not configuring it, but it can be configured easily. Connection thing, you can find out connection string information. As you search, you can also enable here. So sometime it happens, you're willing to enable the searching functionality on your database tables through the Lucent.net because Lucent.net is a most popular library for .NET for adding the search based upon the concept of Apache Solar. So the Lucent style can be used over there using the Lucent.net. If you're not willing to use the Azure search, you can leave it as it is. Other option are simple. This is about the single database. 